I spent over 12 million dollars at the Diamond Casino in Grand serious? Theft Auto 5 to see if you can actually make some money or if the house just always wins. So this is what I found out. The first round of betting that we did, we went to the computerized horse betting track. So we put down $10,000 bets on the horses with the best odds, the evens, the two to ones, the ones with the best odds to see if we could make some money. So we did a hundred of those, which totaled a million dollars in bets. We started with $171,000. We had a total of 42 wins and 58 losses. Our total after that round of betting brought us to $392,000. Okay, so we made, so we made a total of 200 $21,000 in profit, which is pretty good, even though we lost more games. And I'd say 100 bets is a pretty solid sample. I don't know, maybe I should do 1,000 next time, but 100 bets is a solid amount. So then next we went to the highest odds on the horses. So these are going to be your 27 to 1, 28 to 1. I think the highest is 30 to 1 odds, and we were doing $10,000 bets. So 30 to 1 on the max bet is going to be $300,000 that you win. So we started with the 392000 and this one we lost almost every single game because it is the higher odds you don't win as often but the wins are a lot bigger so we did 100 bets on this ten thousand dollars and on these odds we only won five what? games okay we lost 95 of the 100 but because they are bigger wins we ended with eight hundred and fifty two thousand dollars which is a profit of four hundred and sixty thousand, which is insane considering we only won five games so overall we did 200 bets on horses we made money overall maybe we should do like a thousand to get a really solid like betting sample but i mean 200 is i think enough information for me to say that you can make money on the horses it's gonna take a while but it's easy to do you just max bet the highest horse and then that's it and then you wait and then when it's done you cash out so overall with the horses we started at 171,000, ended with 852,000 after the 200 bets so in total we made six hundred and eighty-one thousand dollars it's not bad for just sitting and doing nothing for like probably two hours total i don't remember it took a while so like hourly rate it's not great but it's easy money i mean if you're just doing something passive easy money don't have to do anything you just bet and cash out yeah i would do the horses that's a good bet Okay, the next game that we went to was roulette. In total, we bet $5 million. We did 50K bets and we did 100 of them. So what I did is I just bet the same bet every time to get a more accurate number. I just put it all on black every bet so that it would be easier to understand the numbers to see kind of what we got. So we ended up winning 54 times on roulette, putting it all on black. We lost 46 times and somehow I never got a single green. The chance to hit a green is only 5.26%. I didn't hit any of those at all, but the chance to win on either color, red or black is 47.37%. We just got lucky that we ended up winning 54 times. So in roulette, we made a profit of 400,000, putting our total at $1,252,000. So I feel like we got very lucky there. So the next stop that we went to was the slot machines. We started with the $2,500 bets and we did a hundred pulls of $2,500 each. So that ended up giving us $250,000 put into the first slot machine. Um, with slots, we didn't really win. We got a few small wins. And then every once in a while, maybe once or twice, I think, we got a pretty big win for like 180,000. So the slots seem kind of like betting just like the high odds on the horses because you don't win that often, but sometimes you can hit a major win. So after doing 100 pulls on that, which was pretty quick, that winner actually didn't take too long. We ended with 1,349,500. We ended up making $97,500 on 100 pulls of the $2,500 bets, which wasn't too bad because that probably took 10 minutes maybe. So, I mean, if you could keep up that hour lead, that'd be good, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. What? I think the only reason we actually went up on this is because I won, a, I won one or two of the $180,000 jackpot bets so i ended up getting those and i think that's the only reason that that put us ahead so i'd say slot machines are probably rigged and you're not going to be able to play those you're probably not going to be able to win a lot of money on those in the long run so then after that i wanted to check the odds of the small bet machines maybe we could win a big one there so i did the 25 dollar pulls and that bet that only put us at 2500 dollars in total bets so it wasn't really anything that changed and we actually ended up losing money there uh 1300 which is what i'm guessing probably the pattern would be if you played the large if you played the big bet slot machines 
for the $2,500, I think overall you're going to lose on any of the slots. But they do have some big wins. I might try to make a video making winning like the max bet on those because I think there's like a $2 million or $2.5 million max win that you can get on the, a couple of the slot machines. So we might try that out to see if it's even possible to win that. So then after that, we went into Blackjack. We did 100 bets of 50k each, totaling $5 million in Blackjack. And this is where I lost a lot of money because we started at... One million three hundred forty-eight thousand two hundred dollars. We did the fifty k bets, and in total, I got four blackjacks. I pushed nine times, which is where the dealer and myself had the same bet, so nobody wins. I ended up winning thirty-three times, and then I ended up losing actually fifty-four hands. And I was playing blackjack by the book, so there's like a chart that gives you the best odds of how to play each hand. That's what we did for the entire thing, and overall, we still lost. So we ended Blackjack at $798,200. So we ended up losing $550,000 on Blackjack alone, which I thought was gonna be one of the best odds because it's the best in a traditional casino to beat the house on. That's what a lot of people play. In a traditional casino setting in American Blackjack, the player's odds of winning is 42.22%. The dealer's odds are 49.10%. Odds of push are 8.48%. And then the odds of getting a natural blackjack, which is the ace and then a face card, which is the best hand that you can get in blackjack. And you also win 1.5 of your bet. That is a 4.75%. But my odds weren't quite like that because I only won 33% of the time, lost 54, pushed nine and got a blackjack 4%. So the push and the blackjack were pretty accurate, but the losses were quite a bit higher. So yeah, overall, I would say if you're gonna bet in the Diamond Casino in Grand Theft Auto V, I would just stick to the high bets on the horses. So yeah, if you plan on betting in the casino, stick to the high bets on the horses. I think that's your best chance to win. Everything else is pretty accurate, though, as far as real numbers. That's why the casino always wins, though. So but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've won the max bet on the slot machines. I haven't won any of those. Also, let me know what your favorite game is at the casino. Personally, I like playing blackjack. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.